This video shows how to synthesize phenylanthranilic acid. For this synthesis we will use the orthochlorobenzoic acid synthesized in a previous video. Phenylanthranilic acid is formed by the action of aniline on orthochlorobenzoic acid using copper salts as a catalyst. This synthesis is known as the Ullmann reaction. The first step is to obtain the catalyst. The catalyst used in this synthesis will be copper oxide. In my warehouse, I do not have copper oxide and I had copper sulfate pentahydrate that converted into copper carbonate and heated to obtain the oxide with carbon dioxide release. First step is to prepare the copper carbonate. I prepare two solutions. A solution of 25 grams of copper sulfate pentahydrate in 100 milliliters of water and another solution of 17 grams of anhydrous sodium carbonate in 100 milliliters of water. Add the carbonate solution over the copper sulfate solution and a blue colored copper carbonate precipitate is formed. To leave in agitation a few minutes, if it is necessary to add a little water. To collect the carbonate precipitate by suction on a Buchner funnel with filter paper. The obtained carbonate is heated in a porcelain capsule with the flame of a burner first with soft flame and then with strong flame. The color change of the carbonate from blue to black is observed. Stir with a spatula to homogenize the product. When heating the copper carbonate carbon dioxide is released leaving the copper oxide in the capsule. We reserve the obtained product for the following reaction. To obtain the phenylanthranilic acid with the reaction of Ullmann we are going to put in a flask of 250 milliliters. 3.7 grams of orthochlorobenzoic acid. 3.7 grams of anhydrous potassium carbonate. 100 milligrams of copper oxide and 14 grams of aniline. Stir to homogenize the mixture and heat the flask with an oil bath and a condenser. Heat the mixture for 2 hours at reflux. The reaction product is a black solid. We add 60 milliliters of water and set up a steam distillation. Distill 75 milliliters. The distillate contains the unreacted aniline. To the product remaining in the flask, we add 1 gram of charcoal and it is heated to reflux for 20 minutes. We filter the result through a Buchner funnel with filter paper. The filtrate is put in a 250 milliliters beaker and concentrated hydrochloric acid is added slowly with stirring. We add small quantities of water to avoid that the precipitated acid thickens. We add acid until pH 2 or 3 to verify with pH reagent paper. Collect the precipitate by suction. To wash twice with cold water. The wet cake from the funnel is put in a 250 milliliters beaker and water is added up to a volume of 200 milliliters. We heat with agitation and we slowly add 10 grams of anhydrous sodium carbonate during a time of 5 minutes. Once dissolved the precipitate we put it in a glass of 500 milliliters and we add 1 gram of charcoal. We boil for 10 minutes. Filter the hot solution through a Buchner funnel with filter paper. 
The filtrate is allowed to cool and concentrated hydrochloric acid is added again to precipitate the phenylanthronilic acid. Add the hydrochloric acid slowly because a lot of foam is produced. Add acid until pH 2 to 3. Collect the precipitate by suction and wash twice with little water. Dilute the solid in 100 milliliters of hot ethanol. Evaporate the alcoholic solution to half its volume. After letting the ethanol solution stand overnight, the crystals are collected by suction. Prism-shaped crystals are obtained. The acid solution in alcohol is evaporated to obtain more phenylanthronilic acid crystal. The melting point of the acid has been determined with a result of 186 to 190 degrees. The melting point according to literature is 185 to 188 degrees, a good result in the purity of the acid obtained. The yield of this operation was 75%.